We've got a 10 lapper ahead of us. This is round five of the Row British Sidecar Championship. Uh, race 10 on what will be a 16 race season. On the right hand side then, the Yamaha, the DHR Express Tires Services, Yamaha of Lewis Blackstock and Paddy Rosney, Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement on the left, the number six. The frag moves away. The lights come in and wait for them to go and see who gets a drop here from pole position. Blackstock and Rosney make a note of their tremendous start. Holden and Lawrence looking to go through. Rob Biggs, number five, on the inside, but losing out, losing out to Martin Kirk, who sweeps round. But it's Blackstock and Rosney leading on lap one of ten into the complex for the first time. This is a very, very fast circuit. Campbell, Cobb and Seagrave. The right-hander exiting now of Seagrave, and they then go away to Noble. We've got one of the Bell boys. That looks like Phil Bell has stopped in the background there. But leader at the first sequence of Benz, Blackstock and Rosney from pole position have leapt into the lead. What can Ellis and Emmanuel Clement, his French lady passenger, there you are. Oh, that is, that's Mick Bell. That's Mick Bell out of it. Uh, looks like... The passenger has exited stage left. Let's see. Yes, he's OK. I spoke to him yesterday and he actually said that it was a bit of a problem. That's Shane Colbrook. Shane Colbrook has parted company with the outfit. But the battle for the lead. Lewis Blackstock, Paddy Rosley, a very determined. Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement, who come here trailing now by 24 points to the guys in front of them. And they've got two races in which to make that up. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, last weekend we were absent of uh, Todd and Emmanuel at Cadwell, the round clashing with the World Championship. Uh, rain flags out, Barry, rain <laughs> flags out. Diminished, out there. diminished adhesion. There were spots of rain on the camera lenses while we were lining up, but look at that, a puff puff of locking up from the sidecar tyre from Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement. Lewis Blackstock and Paddy Rosney know what they have to do. Now they've got the championship lead. They have to keep Ellis and Clement behind them or as close as they can to them every single race from now until the end of the season. They do drop their worst two race scores. But conversely, there are double points at Brands. Exactly that. Look at the rain on the camera lens now, Barry. It could get a little bit tricky out there for some of these guys. Last weekend, we had mixed conditions at Cadwell for some of the races. Uh, it, it did catch a few people out. Um, but look at this battle going on here between Todd chasing for the first time this season, chasing to get back into the lead of the championship. Him and Emmanuel, they've led since round one at Alton Park. And this is the move. This is the move. He's got it. it this look at that smooth as you like smooth 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 beautiful beautiful precision clean as a whistle blackstock and rosley over the curb at the chicane then holding on very much george holden and oscar lawrence in the 93 the blue outfit in third place they are really pushing hard the battle in Fourth place now, Rob Biggs, then it's Martin Kirk, then it's Paul and Tom Kirby, Simon Robinson, there's Philip Bell, there's Craig Clark, the number 17 crew, he and Pete Enser on a Honda. And uh, let's go back to the front, Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement then, just easing out. We're looking for a lap record here of 119.126. Are they going to get anywhere near that? No, they're not, because uh, they're in the 121s at the moment. We're two seconds shy of lap record speed. Conditions dead, Jed, not conducive to lap record. They are not. They are not. We are losing quite a lot of traction out there. Very grippy, this circuit, though, Barry. Very grippy indeed. So hopefully it won't be too much of an issue if the, the sort of rain, the drizzle carries on at this rate. Uh, I've, I've just seen as well, anyone keep an eye out for uh, Craig Curry and Justin Sharp. They've unfortunately... Uh, they're out of the race by the looks of things. Well, look at Blackstock. Blackstock has far from given up. He and Paddy Rosney are getting second wind here. They're staying with Todd Ellis and Emmanuel Clement all the way, every inch of the way. George Holden now coming up to play. So there's 1.2 seconds separating those top three outfits. Blackstock and Rosney. Yamaha plays Yamaha, the Kawasaki in third place. The 636 Kawasaki of George Holden and Oscar Lawrence, a local lad from just down the road near Basingstoke. So very much local support here 
for the passenger, George Holden, of course, not uh, from very much up north, but look at them now. Holden is really, really piling on the coals. Fastest lap at the moment, 121.1 from the race leader, and that is not too shabby. That is around his qualifying time, which he, in actual fact, it's inside his qualifying time, so they've put some coals on the fire. Holden, though, is now on the case. Impressive, absolutely impressive. Best I've ever seen from George and Oscar. They've, they've had a bit of a quiet year, Barry, in terms of battling, racking up lots of points along the way. An unfortunate round at Donington. I think they had two DNFs there, but look at this performance from these two guys in the number 93 at the back of the shot here. I tell absolutely you Absolutely fantastic. They are inspired. They are riding really, really well. And these three, you could get them all in the back of a truck here. It'd have to be quite a long truck. It did then, because it extended a little bit. But Ellis out at the front. Blackstock and Rosny, series leaders. And this is, for them, damage limitation because even if they finish where they are, they will only drop a three-point deficit to Ellis. They've just got to keep piling on the points. And now in the championship, of course, Holden is in third place in the title chase, chased by virtue of a brilliant weekend at Cabell Park last weekend. Three races there did him the power of good. So you're looking at the top three in the championship. Championship leaders on the red bike, runners up leading the race, and third, third place in this race with more spots of rain on the camera. Can't take my eyes off this action. This is good stuff. This is great racing on lap five of ten. Half distance. Holden fancies this should be. He does. This is very much now looking to me like uh, Lewis and Paddy there in second place having to fend off rather than attacking. There goes, there goes Holden Lawrence into church. That's a brave what move. A move. What a move. A brave, brave move. Now, has Lewis Blackstock got anything up Woodham Hill? The climb up towards the chicane. Meanwhile, Ellis and Clement have eked out a small advantage, but George Holden is riding like a man inspired here. His father, John, of course, double Isle of Man TT winner, very much a mentor of young George these days. And that's a good thing. It's a next generation thing, and it's typical in the world of sidecar racing. I would say less so than in solo racing, but psycho racing, very much a generational thing and a family thing. And if your dad did it, it's inevitable you are. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. And like you say, Barry, what better mentor to have than someone who's been there, done it, and it's such a long, long time. Look at this. This is Phil Bell. Phil Bell, oh, that's Mark Gash, I think, in the sidecar with Phil Bell at the moment. And uh, they're battling for sixth place, along with Kirby. Kirk has gone ahead. Simon Robinson, number 19, over the line last time, down to eighth. But what a mid-pack battle. battle. These are all about the cup positions. And coming here, the cup, and we have an F1 cup class, which is basically, uh, I won't say for the solo riders, for the heavier machines, the less trick machines. And Kirby is very much in the battle of that. The cup leader is the number 18, Phil Bell and he is at the head of this pack, ahead of Simon Robinson, who was leading that championship early in the season. Back at the front then for the GP class, Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement, still with a 121.188, but Holden has gone 121.059. That's fastest lap of the race for George Holden and Oscar Lawrence. And that, of course, was on lap four when they made that stunning overtaking move. What a beautiful move that was indeed, Barry. It's unfortunate we've not seen the, the repass there for second and third. Uh, but, oh, Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement, they've dropped into the 120s. Let's have a look. Blackstock and Rosny still now they're dropping back. But uh, that's where the move was, where they overtook now. You see, back into second place. So Holden relegated down to third again. Blackstock still reclaiming those points. So he had a, a momentary wobble there. George Holden had a moment of inspiration. Uh, can he find that again? We're on lap seven of ten. The rain, it just keeps... I don't know if it's just looking worse because it's sitting on the lens. But uh, oh, these conditions going to be tricky, going to be tricky. I think that's what maybe Paul and Tom Kirby are struggling with a little. Well, hang on. We've just got a 120.9 from Todd Ellis, so he's not bothering the race leader, is it? So uh, it, it can only be minimal 
uh, the rain damage. And as you so rightly say, this is the grippiest surface on the BSB and the British sidecar calendar. Now, a tail ender ahead of our race leaders. That's Gordon Pottinger and uh, David Dodd, his passenger, and they are about to be relegated. Second place, third place go over the line. Now on lap eight of 10. So let's see. Still this battle, Phil Bell still ahead of Paul and Tom Kirby. And this is very much the battle for the cup. Kirby in third place. Where is Brian Gray? Brian Gray is currently in 10th place in the race and Kirby goes ahead of Philip Bell. Phil Bell on the LCR Yamaha, of course, and Kirby riding an Adolf RS chassis, German built in rivalry to the LCR, the Lewis Christian racing chassis, which just about everyone uses. Uh, there is an additional chassis built in the UK by Dean Wright. Brother of Sean Wright father of Colin right so <laughs> generational family thing and uh, cycles run very much in the right family there is Brian Gray Brian Gray and Clement Corneal his French passenger lying in 10th place at the moment the all yellow outfit and they are currently second in the cup but Kirby is now only two points behind so Kirby by virtue of his position in this race has gone second in the cup he's overtaken Brian Gray Fastest lap, 120.8. So that is very, very quick in inclement conditions, if I can say that. <laughs> very nice, very nice little segue there. Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement at the front, impeccable. This lady passenger is a tower of strength in so many ways. She's totally active in the pits. She's working all the time, non-stop, cleaning, preparing. Her physical condition is incredible. She spends hours in the gym, and you have to be, as you well know, Jed, particularly on a track like Thruxton with so much G-force where you're being threatened to be thrown off the outfit all the way around that right-hander from Goodwood through Village and Church. That's 130 miles an hour and it's trying to spit you off. It's, uh, there's one word for it, Barry, and it's, uh, I'd probably go with terrifying the first time you come here. It's so, so different to anything else you'd experience in this country. The odd corner, it shares with other circuits, but this place for a lap is insane. It's all about momentum here. Here comes Holden again. Holden, George Holden, Oscar Lawrence going for second place again and taking it at the chicane. What a lovely move. That was a copybook move and a carbon copy of the one they did before. Lewis Blackstock popped to look over the shoulder there. He hammered the chicane. Is it is all well? He wondered maybe if Paddy was still in place, I think. He hit that chicane hard. Has he done any damage? I think it's just because Paddy, I, I don't know if he, uh, the, the move from George upset them a little there on the entry, uh, but Paddy just had to leg it, which meant the chair wall came up through the chicane. So I think uh, maybe uh, Lewis was just having a little look back just to make sure everything was still fine. Well, look at this, final lap, and George Holden and Oscar Lawrence hunting down the race leaders here. But they, the race leaders have got the fastest lap, but Holden and Lawrence are just one tenth off the pace on lap speed and they sense something here if they could get it close enough on that run all the way around through goodwood village church and then the sprint up the hill you just never know are they going to be close enough out of village now heading down towards church this immensely immensely fast right hander then the sprint up to Woodham hill the kawasaki 636 has it got the edge over the yamaha the gap's too big. It's about four lengths, and Todd Ellis is canny. Completely, completely canny on his way to maximum points here. But George Holden, what a well-fought podium. Second place then. He's right on him, though. He's right on him. It's a checkered flag for Todd Ellis and Manuel Clement from George Holden and Oscar Lawrence. Lewis Blackstock and Paddy Rosney. They did something over the chicane. I'm not sure whether someone took a knock, but that is a brilliant, brilliant victory from second place on the grid, bringing it home in fourth. Rob Biggs, that's great to see his Yamaha running. He's been plagued with mechanical problems all season. Brother Phil on the wall, thrilled to bits. Rob Biggs, Ferry Sagers coming home ahead of Martin Kirk. We're looking for a black outfit to bring it home in fifth. 
Yes, the cut battle. Simon Robinson ahead of Clark and Brian Gray, Clement Conneal. Simon Robinson, Mick Fairhurst, the number 19 crew, having a much better ride this time. They are in eighth place. Oh, and that battle through there what is a on move. lip and duck. And that's Brian Gray, the old master, showing them what he's made of. What a move that was. Round the outside of Craig Clark, Pete Enter on the 17 machine there. Absolutely incredible move. Brilliant. Mid-pack, so the cup battle very much alive. But victory here for Todd Ellis, Emmanuel Clement, on the LCR Brooklyn Yamaha with a fastest lap, 120.801. Good race, sensational, and uh, what a result for Holden and Lawrence. Brilliant. Well, 10 laps. Been waiting all day for that, and uh, it was worth every minute. Didn't fail to disappoint, did it? That's for sure. What an absolutely sensational race. Brilliant. Confirmation then. Ellis, Holden, Blackstock. That's the podium and Blackstock still retains the championship lead. Six seconds adrift. Biggs, Kirk, Bell. So Bell leading the cup chargers and Kirby, he's moved into second in the cup. Brian Gray fought back. Uh, too little, too late. Uh, the only F2, Rob Atkinson, Mark Middleton there. Well, they're going to pick up 25 points in the F2 class. And we saw Mick Bell, Shane Colbrook, Park Company.